Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma. Today we are going to learn about the CRUD REST API node shares MySQL using Prisma. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, we have to create the directory. Let's go to the terminal. So here I'm going to add a new folder with Prisma CRUD REST API. Okay, so let's go to that folder okay next step initialize the packet.json with npm init y then install this npm packages after the installation we have to create the schema.prisma otherwise we can use npx prisma in it sorry npx No, I guess something. Just let me open the code. Now, that's correct. NPX Prisma. So here you can see, if I open the code, now you can see Prisma with the env file is there, right? Now Prisma schema is already now built. Now we can change it to MySQL. I'm using database, and here we have the env file so here we have to add our database credentials over here so this is postgresql so basically here should be a mysql so let me go and check my previous credentials i think it's in the node.js might be no i think it should be in node not in this node.js yes, I think the previous the project we are doing okay no issues I think we, uh, we here we have to change the here we have the postgresql so basically we have going to the mysql so here we have to update the credentials I have already been the credentials over here so here we have the credentials of this one right so here we will update the credentials so here we go with this one so let me update this one full fledge so mysql so here we have to add our username so currently username is my root here we have the password so admin to three for the hash i guess i need to use percentage 23 because it doesn't take a hash or exclamation or anything so you have to encode that one so here we go with the db so let me create the my db over here let's go to the php my admin localhost php adminer let's log in let's create i think there is no database so i'm going to create a new database save this already exist my database one so my db1 let's add it over here okay so this is done schema is schema is pending so let's add the schema okay so here we have to add the model user schema with ID name and the email so let's add this model okay so in auto increment ID name and the email should be unique save this let's try to run the commands so first npx prisma generate okay now we have to run the migrations or migrate 
so I will make it users so it is done you can see that migration file is generated over here also here you can see migrations with this file right and if I go and just reload this user table is there with the data right so user is created right now so let's go for the REST API. Let's create the server.js file. So I'm going to create the server.js file over here. Okay, so let's create this server.js file and let's put the code over it. So here we have a full-fledged REST API. So in the next, we have go with the PostgreSQL. Okay, so let's save this. Okay. And let's try to run this one. Okay node server.js server is running on the localhost 3000 port so let's copy this link and go to the postman now because here we need to do the CRUD operations right so here we go with this one slash what we have the first one that is a post users if I just put the post users I think it should be empty right now so get API so it's currently empty let's make it post and uh, what we have the post users that is this is get many read users update user then we have a delete where is create one so here we have a create user post okay so name and the email we have to send so let's try to send this one with the name and email body raw json so here we will put the name okay press me on and put the email Okay, any email test ninety at the rate millinator dot com. Okay, this is done. Let's try to send this. This is created. Let's go to the database and check this one. One row is added. If I just go for the get request, you can see that the users list is coming. Okay, let's try to understand this one. So this is was what we have required. Express body parser Prisma client. Okay, Express. And the which port you want to listen that is up to you okay here we are using the body parser.json because we are accepting the json right so post users will accept the name and the email with the help of the await prisma user dot create you need to pass the object with the name and the email and it will create that user if something goes wrong it will go to the catch block right then the get one that is read users so user dot find many so whatever we have the records just find many and return that one if something goes wrong it will go to the catch block okay update you want to update then you need to pass the id over here so let me update that one so i need to update the id over here one because one id is there and we have to go with a put request okay so here you can see that we have a put request let's update the rajnikan to this one three 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 let's send it and here you can see that it's updated right so how I have done this so we expect the name and the email and here Prisma user dot update where so it requires the user ID and the data that you want to update whether it's to be name whether it's to be an email then it will update it otherwise it will go to the catch block and it will show the error updating the user next we have a delete user okay so we have to pass the id and the prisma.user.delete where condition where id should be user id then it will delete that user if something goes wrong it will go to the catch block okay and then the which port you want to listen the app it will go over here so let's the last part that is a delete one so i'm going to make it a delete request over here let's try to send this okay let's go and check this one records has been deleted right so this is the full fledged CRUD rest api using the prisma in mysql any doubt any query do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day